Oh, I'm pleased to introduce Professor Sokoloff and his team. They were the first to use high-power lasers to detect anthrax in real time. That is to say, in a nanosecond, not in several seconds. They have then gone on to work on other problems about the filamentation of light, the focusing of light, and ways in which we can use these techniques to go beyond the standard quantum limits. We describe an experimental protocol to use femtosecond laser filaments in order to achieve subdiffraction limited resolution at distances that would be intractable classically. Laser filaments can maintain high intensity and submillimeter diameter over long propagation distances. This enables sensing, scanning, imaging, spectroscopy with enhanced resolution. The laser filamentation can be generated in many media, including atmosphere and water. The technique can be adapted to ocean optics studies. It is not easy to generate the laser filamentation. One useful trick is to adjust the chirp of the pulse to achieve the necessary intensity. So today we're going to be seeing the experiments on filamentation, focusing of light into tiny fibers. And this is something which put in the present context helps us to visualize what we're doing with the experiments from detecting anthrax to looking at ocean optics. Set up the apparatus on an optical bench and follow safety precautions for a class four laser. To create the filament, use a pulsed amplified femtosecond titanium sapphire laser. Pass the laser beam through an